You know, I love learning new things and something that I kind of stumbled across and I think it really caught my attention is because it's a, it was a loaded word that I always thought it meant one thing and I realized, no, it means something totally different. It's the word apocalypse. So many times when I'm at, it might be a dinner party or in front of a classroom or even taking a, doing a Q&A thing at church and I'll just kind of throw the, the floor open and say, hey, what, do you, what questions do you have? Questions that often come up is like, hey, Casey, what do you think about the end of the world? You know, what do you think about it? And the word that people will use is apocalypse. And what I learned was that apocalypse, usually when we use the word end times, when the folks who wrote the Bible, when they use the word apocalypse, they weren't talking about the end times almost all the time. They, they rarely, when they wrote the word apocalypse, they were talking about reveal. So for example, it meant like, hey, you used to think this way, but God is apocalypsing this way. He's revealing something that is new. You used to think that this is the way the world worked. You used to think that the way your life worked, but now God is revealing. He's apocalypsing that this is actually how the world works. This is actually what your life is supposed to be about. Uh, for example, in Matthew chapter 11, verse 25, Jesus is praying and he says, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, but you've revealed them to little children. And the word that Jesus used there is you apocalypse them to little children. Now, how weird would that sound if it was end times? You've end times these things to little children, but that's not what Jesus is saying. He's saying, God, that you've kind of hidden this stuff from people who think they got it all together but you've revealed it to humble children, to humble people. You've, you've shown your truth to humble people who want to learn. <laughs> There's so much we can learn. And God is always trying to teach us. So many times at the end of, uh, or when Jesus began to preach, he would start with the words, those who have ears to hear, let them hear. That is always God's desire is that, hey, if you've got ears, listen up. I want you to learn this because I'm revealing something new to you. You used to think this is the way it's supposed to be, but actually this, this is the new way that it's supposed to be instead. I've been wondering over the last few weeks, what is God revealing to us? What's he revealing to me about myself? So kind of, it's kind of gone through stressful and conditions and had lots of worries and concerns and the, the roller coaster of quarantines and, and being afraid of sickness and disease and all this other stuff. What is God showing me about what am I really afraid of or what I really trust in? And when I was a kid and I would be sitting in math class, I would always be so terrified that the teacher would call on me. It's because I didn't know anything about I was so I was I, I always felt like I was just failing day after day in my math classes and it would just and it would make, give me this ball of nerves in my stomach and I and I was swore. I, I, if someone would have asked me said, "Yeah, my math teacher loves to watch me struggle." is what I would have said. I thought that my math teacher enjoyed kind of watching me dangle on the end of the line, you know, not knowing what I was doing. And they went home and told their spouse, you wouldn't believe how bad Casey is at math. But, yeah, of course, I don't think that's what they were doing. But sometimes I think that's what we think God is doing. When he's teaching us something new, we think that God is like that, that ugly teacher at the front of the room picking, picking on us and saying, man, why don't you get it yet? Why aren't you, you know, and, and just kind of enjoying watching us struggle, but, you know, is that who our Heavenly Father is? No, of course not. When God is teaching us something new, it's because he wants to give us new freedom, a new insight into how we are loved, a new insight into how he's taking care of us. He wants us to leave old things behind and turn towards new things instead. I, I'm convinced that during this time that God is revealing new things to us about ourselves. That's been my prayer. God, show me, show me how, how am I not trusting you? Because I think that's probably one of the greatest lessons we can learn in this life, is how we could trust God more. I think that's the key to pleasing God, is trusting him. When we trust God, he takes so much delight and pleasure just knowing that my children trust me to take care of them and to look after them. So during these times when our world is kind of being turned upside down and maybe every day we're thinking about and wondering and worrying about the people I love, are they going to get sick? Are they going to die? We worry about ourselves. We have, we have vacations messed up, birthdays messed up. We have things that just aren't going the way we want them to go. Do we trust God to take care of these things? I think he's revealing to us. He's apocalypsing to us. He's showing us that we used, we thought we trusted him. He's showing us, no, I think you could trust me a little more because you know what? I've got it taken care of.
And he is the one who is trustworthy, and he is the one who is able. So those who have ears to hear, let them hear. God is at work, and he is taking care of us.